Back in March, I bought this new face Trinity device primarily to tackle my jowls, which were beginning to reappear after uh, an all therapy session that I'd had in 2019. I also wanted to try to lift my hooded eyelids, which were sagging due to the loss of um, skin elasticity on my forehead. So I've used it pretty much daily now for four months. And today it's time to find out whether it's made a difference. So just as a little recap, I bought this larger size Trinity New Face model on Amazon and it came with a small 59 milliliter gel primer and together they cost me £270 or around $325 in the US. And I will link to the product listings in the description box below if you want to check them out for yourself. I also bought the L attachment because I was particularly keen to get an eye lift from this device. And the attachment is marketed for use on um, the eyes and around the lips. So I assumed wrongly that the Trinity couldn't be used on those areas, then subsequently found out that it absolutely can. So I sent the attachment back via Amazon and I got a full refund on it. Uh, that L attachment cost me £135 or $150. So, you know, if it's not vital, I wasn't keen to hang on to it, having already spent £270. There is a smaller mini facial toning device, which you can buy for around £160, including the primer gel. Again, I'll link to that below. Uh, to me, that seems like the smarter buy. And if I was starting out again, that's probably the model that I'd go for. So I've got more detail about the device, how it works and charges, what it's like to use and so on in this video that I recorded back in March. So check that one out after this one if you're interested in finding out more. Um, I've been using the new face pretty much daily since March. I was a bit, you know, unsure uh, to begin with. I kind of resented the idea of having to do this repetitive five minute routine every night with all its sweeps and holds and following the little manual that comes with it to the letter. Um, but the more I started using it and felt like I was getting results, the more devoted to it I became. And now I, I don't like not to use it in a day. Um, I usually use it at night because I don't have time to fit it in in the morning. So I'll wash my face, apply the hyaluronic acid primer gel, which has been a big hit in this house. Um, you know, I, I said in a recent video about my skincare routine, I'll link to that here, uh, that my husband also started using the new face and he'd been applying the primer gel beforehand. And although he got fed up of using the device in the end, uh, he's not as devoted to the anti-aging cause as I am. Um, he swears by the primer gel, so he still uses that every day. Uh, so basically, the hyaluronic acid in the gel is having an effect on his skin. It's reducing the redness that he can suffer from, and he thinks it's giving it a little plumping effect. I like it too, uh, so I leave it on after every session. Um, it's fragrance-free, totally non-irritating, and if you do as I do and dilute it with a little bit of water first, it's, um, it's totally non-sticky on the, the skin afterwards. So let's just have a quick look at how I use the gel and the new face itself, and then we'll talk about the results after. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the whole five minute routine because that's gonna be boring for you. I did a lot around the various sort of sweeps and holds that you can do in the last video, um, my first new face video that I did. Um, so I'm just going to show you applying the primer and a few of the basic holds that I've been doing and um, moves. So this is now uh, an 148 milliliter gel primer that I've been buying. Um, you know, I said earlier on to begin with, I wasn't convinced about this, the need for, for something like this. It's 34 pounds for the 148 milliliter. So expensive, but um, what I do is I just basically dilute it with a bit of water. So again, spoke about this in the last video, I'm not gonna dwell on it. I just wet my hands and then I wet my face. Okay, and then 
I take a good old dollop of this. Actually, it's not, not that big a dollop. You can make it go quite far. So larger than a pea, a big pea. <laughs> and sweep that over my face. If it dried up, I could re-wet my face again, rather than keeping applying the primer, which is when it starts get, getting expensive. You know, if you buy the 148 milliliters and you're diluting it like this each day, you know, you're diluting it with water, so it's still gonna carry the current. Um, you know, it's not oil. So um, it makes it last a lot longer. I mean, I would probably get a couple of months out of that. And my husband is using it as well, every day. So uh, you can see how far that goes. Switching the new face on, I think it has five settings. Again, I covered that in the last video. Um, I always go for the highest setting. There's a little plus and minus um, control on the front here. Mine is permanently set to the highest setting. You get these beeps, intermittent beeps, which is when you're supposed to move on to a new area. So it guides you, but I ignore them basically and just sort of do my own thing. So I, I start with the neck, um, and I just do a couple of passes and then lift and hold on the neck. So usually I would go under and do those a couple of times each side, but I want to move this on quickly for you. So I'm then going and doing around the mouth and I do a couple of sweeps basically. And then I do some holds here and I might do two or three of those just to lift, you know, focusing on those smile lines. You know, so I normally do the sweeps here a couple of times slower than that and then a lift. You know, when you buy this, you get a guide and if you're sensible, you just follow the guide. But you know, there's always this part of me that is so resistant to being told what to do letter by letter. And it just felt boring to me to be just like following the same old routine. So I just kind of do my own thing. Um, broadly, I'm following the guide, but you know, you can see what I'm doing. I'm moving upwards. I do a few lifts and holds. I would normally do more slower sweeps up here and then hold. And then again, the other side slower and then hold a couple of times. And then for the eyes, I'm avoiding that main kind of socket area. And I'm just focusing on the brow. You know, I'm going for the muscles basically in the brow. So I would do each side a few holds like this. So I do a few under the brow and then I would do a few above the brow holding and then moving upwards. And let's just do a few on this one side and see if you can see a lift over the other side. I'm just gonna wet my face again actually, it's dried up. Yeah, let's see if we get a bit of an eyebrow lift. You know, the, the lift that you get after doing this kind of sets you up for the day, but it is gonna fall um, pretty quickly. It's a, it's a temporary effect short term, but long term, there is a very slight rise longer term through daily daily use. So for people with sagging, sagging eyelids, and I've had people comment on the channel about this saying that they have seen a clear improvement in the sagging because they've just been able to lift the brow enough um, to, you know, be able to see more of the lower lid. So what do I think about the new face after four months of using it? You know, has it made uh, a difference to my skin? Well, I would say it would be a push to describe as a big difference, but yes, it has made a difference in my opinion. So here is my side profile taken the day I started using the new face back in March with just a little bit of a jowl starting to re-emerge after I'd had it successfully lifted in 2019 with an all therapy session. Um, at that stage, I was thinking I'd have to go back and have another all therapy session to try to address it. And um, 
our therapy is pretty expensive. But I feel now though, and um, let's just compare that before shot, sit it alongside a side profile shot that I took of myself last week. And I do think the new face is helping keep those sagging jowls at bay. There's a slight lift, I think, and definitely no decline. So it's helping keep this area just that little bit tighter. So I'm stimulating the muscles with the new face, but at the same time, I'm helping keep the skin's elasticity as well, hopefully by just stimulating a little bit of collagen production. And what that means is, at this point in time, I don't think I need an intervention like Al Therapy. I'm 48, so around the mouth, uh, there's a slight droop, but I would say, looking at the pictures, it's slightly tighter, and I think that the daily stimulation with the microcurrent is certainly preventing further sagging. So I'm pleased with the jowl area on the whole. And um, I also felt that I was having some progress with the eyes. So if we zoom in there to the eyes, you can see a bit of a lift around the lid, which looks smoother as well as a result. And I could definitely feel that day to day. I'm talking in the past tense, because since that picture was taken just over a week ago, I had Botox on my forehead the very next day. Now, I hadn't had Botox done in a year. I was humming and hawing about whether to have it done again. And then this opportunity came up when I was with a friend who does aesthetics and um, I went for it. Unlike before though, this time when I got it done, you know, having worked up these muscles, then by suddenly relaxing them in my forehead, particularly around my frown lines in the middle here, my brow just came down and my sagging lids were pretty much right back in the middle anyway to where they were. So now when I try to raise my eyebrows with the muscle frozen over this middle area, I get like bat wings on my skin. And um, that's because my muscles above the outer brow are largely untreated with Botox and still strong and can lift but these middle ones can't. So I have this contrast, which I've not seen before. Uh, obviously my muscles must have been much weaker or something before. So uh, through my own stupid vanity getting Botox again, I've had a bit of a setback there and I'm gonna keep using the microcurrent on my forehead. And I think I will get that lift back over time as the Botox wears off. I'll probably also get my lines back, but hey ho. To me though, what happened there is actually evidence of the effect frequent microcurrent treatment actually has had on my facial muscles. To see that sudden drop when I relaxed the muscles with Botox. Incidentally, it's fine to use the new face after Botox, but it's recommended you leave 48 hours for the Botox to settle first. There is no evidence uh, to suggest microcurrent devices are not safe. They are considered safe and are widely used, uh, but uh, people who have pacemakers should avoid using them. I have a dental implant and I haven't had any problems using the new face and the makers say it's safe to use with implants. The only slightly unpleasant side effects I've noticed were initially I had some on off pulsing in this eye in particular on the lid and um, it was really just when I first started using it. It, it took a, a few weeks to clear up. It was just on and off, a bit annoying. Um, occasionally as well, I get kind of a tingling of, of what feels like nerves or something around my neck in the middle here. And it's it usually if I've done, if I've gone too far, you know, I've used too many holds, I've gone, uh, I've done too much around the neck area. So if I just do a couple of passes and holds, usually, I get away with no tingling at all. So overall, I've been really pleased with the new face. It's not a miracle worker, but it does over time um, give you a subtle lift, I think. And I've, I've seen other YouTubers say that they notice the effect most obviously when they stopped using the new face and notice their skin sagging again. The big drawback is the price. Uh, so that's why I'd recommend the cheaper new face mini model. Um, there are alternatives on the marketplace. The most highly rated ones like the Bayer facial toning device are up there on price. You know, they, they're comparable with the new face. So the mini seems to be the most logical way to go. 
I hope you found this review useful. If you did, I would really appreciate you giving it the thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, then hit subscribe if you haven't already. I do love to hear your experiences of what works for you. You know, have you tried the new face? What did you think of it? Or have you tried alternative microcurrent devices that work for you? I'd love to know. So let me know in the comments section. And for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.